Hello, and welcome to a guided meditation story featuring the sounds of a quartz crystal singing bowl which is tuned to the note F for the heart chakra. I would like to invite you to sit down or lie down in a quiet, comfortable place where you will not be disturbed. Listen to this story to experience a guided meditation, fantasy, visual journey with your mind's eyes. Whereby you are the leading protagonist in the story. Before we begin, I would like to invite you to take three deep breaths, slowly inhale and slowly exhale. This will calm your parasympathetic nervous system. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. And the last one, breathe in and breathe out. And now we shall begin. You are walking in the woods. The sun is shining through the canopy of the green trees above your head. Creating patterns on the ground. You hear birds softly singing and the rustle of the leaves and the sounds of your footsteps on the beaten path covered with soft brown twigs. You take a long, deep breath inhaling the musty smells of the tree trunks and the leaves and the fragrant scent of the white flowers. In the distance, you see a glowing blue light. As you get closer to it, you see that it is a large blue marble winding staircase. The steps are reaching to the tops of the trees and beyond through the clouds. On the first step is a chalice containing a blue liquid with a note written in black ink.
On the next step above is a book that is opened. And on the third step is a hologram of some sort showing an image of a grand, large castle. The note next to the chalice reads, Drink the elixir and say the words from the spell book to gain access to the enchanted castle in the clouds. You pick up the spell book and read the spell in your mind. It is in Latin, so you don't know what the words mean. You pick up the chalice and drink the blue elixir. It tastes like sweet, liquid blueberries. And then you speak the words of the incantation. Aditum, ascendit, arse. No sooner you utter the last word of the spell, a blue mist appears covering the first step. Then a golden banister appears attached to the staircase. You place your hand onto the golden banister and step onto the first step. The step changes colour as soon as you step on it. It is now green. You begin to climb the stairs and with each new step you take, the step beneath your feet changes to a different colour. blue, purple, yellow, orange, red and so on. After you have climbed 11 steps, a magical portal opens on the twelfth step. Through the portal you see a meadow. You step through the portal and enter into another realm. You are standing in a meadow covered with yellow and white flowers with blue butterflies flying around. In the distance you see a beautiful manor house. Begin to walk towards it. The house is white with large pillars. The door is large and grand and made out of oak wood. It has a large black 
metal circular handle. You pull at it and open the heavy door. You walk into the house. There is a large kitchen to your right and a living room to the other side. In front of you is a large grand staircase with a mahogany wooden banister. The stairs have red carpet in the middle and on the sides is uncovered wood. The carpet is kept firmly in place with golden thin rods. You walk past the staircase and down the hall and find another room. You open the door and find it is the library. There is a desk in front of the window that overlooks the garden. On the desk is an envelope with your name on it. You pick it up and open it. Inside it is an invitation that reads You are cordially invited to a fairy picnic in the garden. Bring along the picnic camper that is in the kitchen. The fairies are by the big apple tree in the garden. You walk towards the window and you see the big red apple tree and on one of the low hanging branches you see a little house hanging from the branch. You don't see any fairies but you walk back towards the kitchen to pick up the picnic hamper. The picnic hamper is large and full of your favourite foods. Amongst the items are much smaller versions of the same things which you suspect are for the fairies. There are small jam jars and tiny jam jars. You pick up the tiny jars and on the different jam jar labels reads apricot jam, strawberry jam, raspberry jam. There are blueberry muffins, biscuits, scones and cucumber sandwiches. There's a large bottle of pink lemonade and next to it tiny little bottles of lemonade of different flavours including peach and lemon. Next to the hamper is a folded red and white picnic blanket. You pick up the picnic hamper and the blanket and walk towards the far end of the kitchen and open the door that leads to the garden. Upon entering the garden, you walk towards the apple tree. The grass is bright green and cut short. You spread out the blanket and place the hamper onto the blanket. You sit down on the picnic blanket and start to take out the items from the basket. Placing the tiny fairy food items to the right of you, underneath the little fairy house, and the bigger items for you on your left. There are also plates that you lay out for both yourself and the fairies. You wait for a while and slowly you hear the twinkling sounds of bells.
and the fairies begin to appear. Some fly out of the fairy house, while others appear suddenly out of nowhere in midair in puffs of coloured smoke. There are blue fairies, purple ones, whilst others are orange and yellow. They are all very lovely and they smile at you. And they begin to help themselves to the picnic. As you watch them, you also start to eat. First, starting with a cucumber sandwich. You pour yourself some pink lemonade into a cup. You then dollop some raspberry jam onto a scone. You are very much enjoying eating the delicious picnic foods with your new fairy companions. Something catches your attention in the sky. You look up and see three shapes slowly coming into view. Three little white bears are coming down towards the garden, each holding a rainbow-coloured umbrella. As they come closer, you see that one of them is holding something that looks like a golden pocket watch or a compass. All three of the little white bears land softly onto the grass in front of you. They fold their rainbow umbrellas and then hold them into the air and the umbrellas disappear. The three white bears walk towards you and the one holding the golden pocket watch compass introduces himself and his companions. He tells you his name is Peter and asks if they can search the garden, for they have hidden a brown sack containing some of their things. You nod your head and tell them yes. Peter uses the golden pocket watch compass to guide him to where the sack is. They stop in front of the rose bushes and the sack slowly becomes visible. It is a brown coloured sack with a golden rope tied to the end. They carry the brown sack towards you and opened it in front of you. They then start to take out the items. They pull out a puzzle, a train with train tracks and some little dolls. The white bears then place the tracks onto the grass and the train on top and the tracks magically grows into a larger, more intricate train track. And the train starts to move around the train track. The fairies fly over to the train and sit on the top of the train in delight. They are very much enjoying the ride all around the entire garden. They squeal in delightment. The white bears invite you to play the puzzle game with them. 
It involves all sorts of strange and peculiar coloured wooden blocks that you have to balance on top of each other. And each time a particular coloured block pattern occurs, the blocks open a tiny window into other locations. There are windows, portals, to beautiful beaches, others show forests, and others snow-capped mountains. You poke your finger through the window and feel surprised that you can feel the coldness and snowflakes land on your finger. And when you take your finger out, the snowflake melts in the sun. The dolls that were taken out of the brown sack now begin to come to life and they start climbing the tower of blocks and they peep inside the windows to the other realms. You are very much enjoying playing this puzzle with your new bear friends and you spend the entire afternoon in this secret garden with your new friends. The end. <laughs>